In this video, I'm going to show you three quick and easy steps to draw a flat cone using a free app. Step 1. Download the Flat Pattern Cone app from the Google Play Store for Android devices. Don't worry if you don't have an Android device, there is still a way to download it on your PC. See the link in the description below on how to use Android apps on your PC. This app will do all the calculations needed to draw the flat cone. Just select the cone you want to draw and enter the dimensions. For this video, I will draw a reducer cone. The diameter of the finished rolled cone will be 100mm at the small end and 150mm at the large end and 100mm long. You can use imperial measurements as long as it's in decimal values. Step 2. Drawing the flat cone's perimeter in a box. This will ensure your cone will fit on the size of material being used and it will help later on when drawing the cone. Once you have clicked the calculate icon and have all the dimensions, using these dimensions you are going to draw the cone's perimeter in a box. Take chord C, 426mm will be our length of the box. And height B is 160mm. Make sure to use a square ruler so the corners are a true 90 degrees. Now complete the box by drawing the other half the same way. So that's 426 millimetres across the top for the chord C length and 160 millimetres for the height. Again, using a square ruler so that the corner is 90 degrees. Check to see if you have drawn the box correctly by measuring diagonally across from corner to corner. The measurements should be exactly the same if your corners are drawn using a square ruler. Now you need to draw a reference line up the centre of the box. To do this, half the chord C length, 426 divided by 2, is 213. Mark both the top and bottom lines halfway across and draw a line all the way through the box that continues straight up. Step 3. Drawing the cone. To draw the cone, you will need a circle drawing tool. Don't worry if you don't have one, as I will show you another way to draw the cone with just a ruler. Using the circular arc radius, R1 and R2 dimensions from the app, you are going to draw the small and large open ends of the cone. Draw the large end of the cone first by taking the R2 dimension of 309mm and adjust the circle drawing tool. Do this by measuring from the pivot tip to the marker tip and lock it in place at 309 millimetres. Place the marker where the centre reference line meets the bottom of the box. The pivot tip should also be positioned on this line. Draw the cone's large radius by holding the pivot in place and move the marker until it intersects the perimeter of the box. Spin the circle drawing tool around and mark the pivot point's location at the top. Alternative version, using a ruler to draw the flat cone. Using the R2 dimensions, measure 309mm from the bottom of the box up the centre line to mark the pivot point. With the ruler in place at the pivot point, measure 309mm using the R2 dimension and draw dots in an arc from the pivot point every inch or so. Then you can just freehand draw and connect the dots to make the arc. Drawing the small end of the cone, take the R1 dimensions of 206mm and adjust the circle drawing tool. Measure from the pivot tip to the marker tip and lock it in place again at 206mm. Place the tool's pivot tip in the location that you marked for it and draw the cone small radius until it intersects the box perimeter. Then connect the small and large radius ends from where they intersect the box's perimeter. Now watch the next video for great tips on how to roll a flat cone with a slip roller.